is uh, Kurt Gaddy Shark Hunter, and today we're going to do a rod review. Um, before we get to that, I would just like to say, if you're in anywhere near Chincoteague, Virginia, and you want a good place to surf fish, go to Chincoteague, go to Chincoteague Island, then go on to the Wildlife Reserve down to Aztec Beach. This is down in Virginia, on the very uh, bottom of uh, Aztec and the fishing there is phenomenal and then there's one tackle shop if you're a fisherman in the area go to this one tackle shop called Cat and Steve's Bait and Tackle that's got to be my new favorite tackle shop I've been there two times and uh, every time it's just been a great adventure uh, if you're looking for a surf rod or any type of rod ask Jerry ask for Jerry because Jerry's really the owner and uh, he's a very, very nice guy. He recommended two rods to me, and I bought them both. And uh, they've been working perfectly. I caught some nice fish on them, including this uh, Lamy Glass Surf King I bought. And a uh, very, very nice guy. And his he's not like most people that recommend rods just so they can get money. He really recommends them, so you're really going to be happy with the product. Okay, on to the rods. Uh, this is a Lamy Glass Surf King 11 footer, medium heavy action, with a lower weight 3 to 8 ounce, which is very, very amazing for this light of a rod. It's 17 to 40 pound line, although I would use nothing more than about 20 pound or 25 pound mono at most, and I would use anywhere from 30 to 50 pound braid on this. I do use mostly mono with this rod because I can use it as a lure rod too. It's got the original Kona flight system and it breaks two piece evenly. And it's 11 foot so it's a 5 foot 6 inch for each uh, piece. It's a very very light weight rod. I would guess it's only about 12 ounces or less. I mean I haven't weighed it yet but I'm guessing anywhere from 8 to 12. It's a very very light rod. Um, it's got the cork handle. If you can see that, that's, it's got the cork handle. It's about a two foot section of cork handle. And uh, this is pretty much Lamy Glass's entry rod. It's got really nice bend to it. I mean, not too much, not too little. Um, when I cast it, I caught some nice fish on it. It handled uh, the fish very, very well. And uh, it casted very, very well. I usually use three to four ounce weights with it says it can cast 8 at maximum, but I'm not willing to try that. Just because it's such a light rod. It says 8 ounce right there. I usually cast 3 when I'm doing this, and then probably 2 ounce lures. Um, it casted lures about 75 yards, and it casted a fully rigged surf rig with 2 feet of uh, leader about 75 yards. So it does perfect casts. Um, I would recommend something like the 750, and I spool this one up with just 20 or a 17 pound mono, about 250 yards of 20 pound uh, 17 pound mono. I'm probably going to put some more on, probably about a total of about 300 yards. But uh, it's a very very does great casts, and uh, it goes for about 130 dollars. It casts beautifully, so. Uh, Everybody thinks you got to have a $400 rod to be able to buy a Lamy glass, and uh, that's not true. But uh, this great quality rod, I caught fish on it, so it has been tested. And I've uh, actually had it doubled over a couple times with some bigger fish. Um, really, really good rod. So next time you're looking for a light tackle surf rod, light surf rod, and you can cast lures and rigs with, uh, check out the Lamy Glass Surf King Rod.